Today we are going to have a visit to our chemistry lab. As all of you have known that we are going to have our introduction class. This is our chemistry lab. These are some chemical reagents which we are going to use in our different experiments. And these are our different inorganic chemical compounds which we will use in our different experiments in organic and now we are going to introduce to some organic compounds these are the organic compounds which compounds which we are going to use in different experiments hello students this is sajda and we are going to have an introduction class to our laboratory today okay so in this class we will basically see what are the apparatus we are going to use in our different experiments okay so before coming to lab we should know the different name and what are the shape and size of the apparatus and what are their uses like that okay so let's start today's class so basically we will start from this two apparatus i think you must have known about these two apparatus this one is beaker okay and this is used to measure the chemical solutions okay generally here we have the measurement up to 200 ml and this one is a small beaker in which we can measure up to 80 ml okay then after this two apparatus we will introduce to the next apparatus this is conical flask this one is called conical flask okay you must have seen this kind of apparatus in your books okay this kind of uh, shape and size you have must have seen that these are used for titration and many more experiments also but basically you are going to use this apparatus this is called what conical flask cone like shape and here also we have measurement up to 250 and also we used to have this kind of conical flask of 100 ml also so in this conical flask we used to have experiments like titration and many more experiments then next we will get introduced to an apparatus like this one I think you know this one, this one is test tubes and these test tubes are kept in a stand like this one which is called test tube stand, okay? And an apparatus which is used to hold this test tube, this one is your test tube holder, okay? So this test tube holder, how to use this one? We used to hold this test tube holder, hold this test tube like this, okay? And now we will go for different experiments like if we are going to heat some chemical compound inside it we are kept some compound and we have to heat this one or the solution we have to heat in this test tube okay. So next one is spirit lamp okay you must have known that spirit is used in it and to heat the chemical compound inside the lab we generally used to use Bunsen burner as well as we also use spirit lamp okay. Then another one this one is funnel. Okay, so this is used to filter the solutions, okay, by using filter pack, okay. Then, to use this filter paper or to use this funnel, we have to use a filtration stand, okay. So, let me introduce to this filtration stand. The filtration stand seems like this, okay. And in this filtration stand, we have to keep this funnel like this. And at the bottom, we will keep our any another apparatus where you are going to collect your solution and you will simply pour your solution in it by keeping a filter paper here, okay? So, this one is our, what? This one is filtration stand, okay? Next, another apparatus we will see inside our lab is this kind of apparatus which is called China dish or porcelain pan, okay? In this Porcelain pan, generally we used to do experiments like crystallization and to get filtration or many more, in many more experiments. Then another same kind of apparatus you will see like that, this one is pestle and mortar in which we generally used to cross some mixture or any compound, okay? Pestle and mortar and pestle, okay? Then apparatus like this one, two types of apparatus you will observe that a whole a hollow glass apparatus and a dense one okay so this one is having a hollow tube inside it then this will be called glass tube okay this will be called glass tube and which having 
depth inside it, then this one will be called glass rod. Okay? Got the difference between the both one? This one is glass pipe or glass tube, you can say. And this one is called what? This one is glass rod. Clear? Alert the part. So, this glass pipe or glass tube is used to keep put out the solution like this. If you want to take some solution then by using this glass tube, glass pipe, by using this glass pipe you can take this solution like this and you can put this wherever you want to forward this experiment. Okay, clear? Got the point? Then next another apparatus is this one. You can say this one in kitchen you used to say the term like chamach or spoon okay but in laboratory we will use a term this is called spatula okay spatula which is used to take any chemical compound okay this is act like a spoon okay or lab spoon is nothing but spatula we can say this one a spatula okay then next one next apparatus is this one this kind of two blue glass you will have or you can see in your in our lab that this is called double blue glass this is double blue glass this double blue glass is used in flame experiment or flame test in our uh, identification of inorganic compounds which you are going to have in our upcoming classes okay so this one is double blue glass clear then another one next one this one is sand paper okay these sand paper are used to clear or clean platinum ware. Platinum ware which is used in flame test. Okay. So this one ware and this is what? Sand paper. Okay. Next. This one is copper foil. Okay. This one is called copper foil. It is made of copper simple if cavity like copper foil. So this copper foil is used in organic experiments we will use and many more experiments also we used to use this one so how to hold this one this one is copper foil and when we are going to heat this one we have to hold this one with some any apparatus okay so we have this kind of apparatus and this one is called tong okay so by the help of this tong we can hold this copper foil and we can heat this one clear got the point okay next another apparatus we will see in our lab is dropper like this one dropper you must have seen so this dropper is used to take the solution like this we can take the solution and we can put this one in any another apparatus where we have to continue this experiment clear so next we are going to see some apparatus like this one okay so this was this, this the smaller one and the bigger one and this one the more bigger one okay so these are what measuring plus okay these three are measuring plus of different measurement this one is a measuring plus of 10 ml okay so if you are going to have any experiment where you need 10 ml of any solution in water or any solution then by using this measuring plus you can measure that solution okay and this one is of 100 ml measuring plus and this one is a 500 ml measuring plus which we use in our different experiment to make the solution as well as to have that different definite amount of solution for our experiment clear then the next one this one is our this one is our flat bottom flask flat bottom flask why we are calling it flat bottom flask because its bottom is flat another kind of this kind of flask also we have that is round called round bottom flask okay where the bottom is round shape okay so the difference between the round bottom flask is and flat bottom plus is that in flat bottom plus we can keep it itself or it can, it can stand itself but the round bottom plus cannot stand itself we need a holder for that one okay so different chemical uh, solutions are prepared by using this one because here exact amount of the solution or the measuring is of the solution is uh, exact here we have written that uh, we got that it is is of 500 ml so up to this glass mark, here is a glass mark over here. Up to this point, if you will fill the solution, then that will be considered to be 500 ml. Clear? But the point? Then. Next, 
Another apparatus we are going to see in our lab is this kind of apparatus we will see. This is called wire box. Okay? And this wire box is used in tripod set. And this one is our tripod set which generally we use to use to heat any solution and in also in our crystallization experiment. So over this tripod stand simply we used to keep this wire box and over this we used to keep our apparatus or our any solution which we are going to heat and at the bottom we will simply keep our source of heat okay like you if you are using boots and burn you can use that one and if you are using this kind of spirit lamp then you can use this one like this clear so this is how we used to keep this set okay then after this next apparatus is this one is another apparatus which is used to blow okay so from here we used to blow air and we will see the uh, observe the effect over here okay it is used in charcoal cavity test okay so this is called blow pipe okay and this blow pipe is used in charcoal cavity test which is this one okay so it is this one is our charcoal and in this charcoal we used to give our any organic or inorganic compound and we used to go through this charcoal cavity test this charcoal is hold by using this one is top and like this we used to hold this charcoal cavity and blowing air through this pipe we used, we used to continue this experiment okay so this one is blow pipe this one is blow pipe and this one is our charcoal clear got this point then this one is keeps apparatus this keeps apparatus is used to produce h2s gas for different experiments in identification of organic and inorganic compound like experiments we used to use this Kipps apparatus which is used for preparation of H2S gas. So before coming to this lab you must know some precursors which we are going to follow inside this lab okay. So whenever you are provided any apparatus you must clean that first and after using that you should clean that okay. So by using this brush like this, you, you, you can clean the apparatus, you can clean the test tube as in beaker or your conical flask or porcelain basin or funnel, everything you can clean with this brush. Okay, next another apparatus we are going to see or in our lab is this kind of an apparatus which is called pipette. Okay. So, this pipette has a definite amount of measurement like here we can see that this is of 10 ml. So, after this mark if you soak the solution. So, how to soak the solution by holding this pipette? We can by mouth like how you used to soak fruity like that you can soak this solution and you can take the solution up to this measurement and you can uh, put this into another apparatus and you will continue this experiment. So, this one is our pipette which is used in titration and with this pipette next we use in our titration another apparatus this one is called burette okay so this burette is used for titration method and the reading in our burette is from 0 to 50 ml okay so in this burette we used to put our solution and we used to continue our experiment okay so keep to keep this burette again we need a stand for this one but because it cannot stand itself okay so the stand which is used to hold this burette is kind of this kind of stand and this is called our burette stand and this is used to hold our burette like this okay and this one is the knob where you can control the solution speed okay and you can continue this experiment. Basically, this is used in our titration method. Okay, clear? We got the point? Another kind of apparatus we used to see in our lab, we will use this kind of apparatus. This is called reagent bottle. In this kind of reagent bottle, we used to keep our solution like H2SO4 or dilute HCl, calcium carbonate solution, sodium hydroxide solution, like many more solutions you can keep this in store in this kind of reagent bottle. Okay, so these are the basic apparatus which I have introduced to you. But this is not the least, many more apparatus you are going to have in your in our lab in upcoming experiments. Okay.
So I hope all of you have crystal clear about all these apparatus. So make a small note of this apparatus, name of the apparatus, how they look and what are the uses of this apparatus so that it will be helpful for your upcoming classes when you are going to continue any experiment inside this lab. Okay, so thank you so much dear, stay home, stay safe students, take care.